Hey everybody, thanks for joining us out here today on the VSO Gun Channel. We have traveled all the way down to Virginia to meet with Bo Hallworth here. We have a special treat here for you today. FN, FNC, which stands for? The Breek National Carbine. This thing is super sweet. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this because this is the real deal. This is a machine gun. Bo, you want to go ahead and give us a uh, little bit of uh, information on this so that everybody knows what we're playing with here today? Okay, so this is uh, FN's introduction when Europe was changing from NATO 7.62 to 5.56. So they had FAL and they also had the uncommonly CAL, which was their 5.56 model. CAL had some problems. It didn't use the Stainag magazine. It, had, it was overly expensive. Um, so this is a long stroke gas piston. It's almost an AK that uses AR mags, has a four position lower, um, has, an has a rotating dust cover right here to go out of the way. Folding stock, this is the paratrooper model with a 13 inch barrel and the folding stock. It also comes in the infantry model, which is a fixed stock and an 18 inch barrel. It also, uh, it has a gas shut off right here. So you can file rifle grenades. You can increase the gas to the carrier to blow out ice and dust. It's currently used by uh, Belgian and Sweden. The Sweden uses, uh, models it as the AK-5 and also has a bolt hold open for their model. Um, this does not have a bolt to pass the U.S. military Arctic trials. The Arctic trials, okay. Right. So it can blow all kinds of ice and dirt out and it has the kind of loose tolerances of an AK, right? Because it has kind of the blend between the AR and the AK. And because it has the looser tolerances and you can increase gas, you can blow out all kinds of ice and dirt out of it. It's really a unique feature. It's useful. Well, one of the things that we said, like right when I picked this thing up, you know, we, we were like, well, it's kind of looks like a Galil and a right. Scar kind of had like a bastard child. And, right. and uh, I'm really excited to shoot this thing. Um, what's the fire rate like? So it's a little bit heavier than the Scar because a Scar is pretty much this short stroke gas piston and plastic. This is all metal parts. It's about 650 rounds per minute. Um, it's a lot more stable. I find that even the SCAR, the M16, I kind of find myself shooting in circles where this, because it's instead of 800, 650, I can really hold it on target better. Well, I think what we should do is since we have them, we should probably go ahead and pull an M16 out too and, and uh, maybe stack them up side by side and See, uh, see how controllable they are, maybe. Well, that sounds good to me. All right, well, without further messing around, we've done enough yakking on this thing. I'm sure we'll do a little bit more throughout the, uh, the, uh, the jacking around period over there. Right. But let's go ahead, load up some magazines, get this thing out there. Uh, tugboat, bring forth the ammo. Single. Three round burst. We're gonna go all the way. Whew. That thing's fun. Dude, it so, does. But it, you see what I'm saying about, right? There's no, none of this. Yeah. Right? Yeah, That's the biggest difference. I'm gonna try something. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I would be able to keep it on the berm with an M16 doing that. Unless you had some kind of special IAR or something. All right guys, so what we have here is the FNC and the M16. The FNC should have a slower fire rate than the M16, making it a little bit more controllable. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> I even started a little bit sh uh, later than you, and I still finished before you. Yeah, you, you, your brass was going across here, and I'm shooting like four more. Yeah. Four or five more. Yeah. So that thing, definitely a little bit slower um, and more controllable. What I want to see next is what happens when we move this over and see if that increases the fire rate any. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot more gas going push, so I might beat you at that point. Yeah. Well, let's find out. All right.
three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Oh. I had a, I had a little bit of a, uh, of a, of a stick. I would have been done faster, but you could hear the, uh, you could feel there was like a short uh, on this one. So. Well, you're playing with the spring, you can increase the rate of fire on that. I got different springs in the truck. Um, um, it was also because you're using steel case too. Yeah, I think that actually that was the cause. You just felt like there was one instance where like it went to load around and just kind of the bolt kind of rode slow a little bit. But maybe I did you a disservice because that's also a piston upper. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, that I didn't think about that. Yeah, uh, could be. But even with that stickage, this was definitely faster. I, yeah. I, I don't know if you could hear it on the camera, but this is this is definitely faster. Well, I was I was done bringing the weapon down. I still got a piece of brass in the face. <laughs> that, that's how I know I beat you. All right, so we have the upper off of the FNC. There's a lot going on inside here that, you know, if anybody who's used to looking inside like an AR-15 or, a, you know, a right. modern rifle, um, this looks a fair amount different in here. So we've got, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, so the, the biggest difference is it's a four position lower, right? And so with that, an M16, just for comparison's sake, uh, when you fire and if you let off before you actually fire all three rounds, you just fire two rounds, your next pull of the trigger is just going to be that one round to finish the series because it's a three prong sear. So for this, it has an internal clock inside. So if you just fire two, your next trigger pull can be three if you hold it down for all three. And obviously, you can flip it up to full auto, semi or safe. And just particularly this gun, this is not a registered receiver in terms of ATF NFA. This is a registered sear, right? So that's a $15,000 piece of metal, this little L, not even an inch long, so I could put that in other hosts, right, if I had another host. That's absolutely absurd. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. they only ever imported 3,000 of these guns total, right? And there's about 15,000, excuse me, 1,500 sears and 3,000 guns, so. Oh, boy. So, so, you so if I get another host, I can put it in so how hard is that to, to change out? Like, um, it's not hard. You just gotta have some know-how. Just right? gotta okay. And then um, and don't break it. Right, don't break it. <laughs> don't drop it. Don't lose it. Right. Like if you lose a detent when you're putting together an AR-15, you just order like another like dollar thing and wait a week or whatever. Right, yeah, no. This you're totally on the ground like searching with like like Magnet, a magnifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could totally see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, very cool, man. Well, let's do some more shooting. All right. All right guys, so what we're gonna do for this one is what I call the spray pattern test. We're gonna shoot the FNC and the M16 at this target over here and check the dispersion pattern on auto. First up, FNC. Dude, I think I might've got them all on on that one. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Now for the M16. I think I got the first one, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think it was all yeah. high. All right, everybody, that is our look at the FN FNC. This thing was an excellent machine gun. We had a great time shooting it here today. I hope that you guys had a good time watching the video. Special thanks to Bo for having us down here and Tugboat over there for smashing all our mags here today. We're gonna close this video all right, do it magged up. Thanks for watching us here on the VSO Gun Channel, and hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video.
But right. uh, it's your party. What do you want to do? This yeah, thing's well, fun, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, this thing is a blast. Yeah. <laughs> um, I prefer. That's why. That's why I didn't feel bad about getting my M16. I was like, I had the binary and I have that. Fuck the M16. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd take one of these or an M16 any day. Pretty so it's yeah. just a little bit. It's a little bit heavier, right? Complaints. There's no bolts hold open. Other than that, I, it's, to me, it's better. But the heaviness I like because it's so stable. Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel the. You can feel the weight. You know, yeah. like you can feel it when the gun re the, when the gun cycles. You can feel the weight of the gun. Right. Like basically compensating for you. Yeah. Yeah. Primarily. You guys, yeah, can you guys uh, quiet on set for a second? I think hey. we're on. You hear that guy shooting over there? You hear that guy shooting over there? We're gonna go, we're gonna talk to him. Come over there shooting. I'm an Alan Mayer pro.